metal freaks out there. My good buddy, Frank Fleckenstein, uh, is now making some pedals. You know, for fun. Why not? He knows about them, so why not make them? That's what many people think. Some people actually make good ones. So let's see if he makes good ones. He's selling them under uh, FFX pedals. FFX. Technically, it should be FFFX because it's Frank Fleckenstein FX. Uh, but whatever. That's his business, right? Literally. He's sending them in a really nice package that uh, also includes this. Nicely packaged with really cool certificates, hand signed. He knows how to put the whole bag together. So today, as the first pedal we're looking at, we have the Sir Real right there. Only thing that bugs me about it is that he squished that guy. So there are some pedals on the market that are preamps from weird devices. Walrus Audio has the 385, which is the preamp of a projector. And people back in the day played through that projector. I think it was tubes or whatever. And they emulated that preamp in a pedal. And I know that uh, um, Exotic has the EP preamp, which is the preamp from the tape delay. Now, this is the preamp, why it's called Surreal. Uh, the preamp from a Dynacord. 1970s Dynacord tape machine, delay, whatever. And people apparently loved to play through that into the amps or directly through that into the uh, console. And I played it, but not a lot. So it's going to be an exploration here with you. It is, I would say, at the most, a nice overdrive in terms of drive. And that's great. So it's kind of either you're always on change boost a little bit or just a really nice saturated overdrive. Tape saturation. That's what it is. Well, not really. It's the preamp from that tape. And I would try to explain to you what the knobs do. A uh, blend obviously is clear. This is all the way clean signal. This is all the way driven signal. You can have both, especially if you're going into an already driven amp. That's a good idea. Grit is the first stage. Fat is something like a master volume. If I understand that correctly, I guess. This is a McMull Stinger. Her name is Maya, like the Bina Maya, if you get that, Stinger, get it. Um, she was built She was built specifically for me by my good friends Amit and Tal in Israel. What a mind-blowing instrument. It's a magma that you can get under three grand, which I know is still quite pricey for a guitar. I get that. But it's the entry-level magma, and oh my God, there is zero reduction. It's a magma all the way. All I'm saying it's good. Uh, going into the pedal, then going into the Sky King by Tone King, then going into the Ox with the 412 loaded cream back. The Sky King is that green thing there. And that's what that sounds like. The pedal has a beautiful, I don't know if you can see that, purple LED. Ah, the, Leslie is freaking on it and it's late today. Leslie just shot one, two, six, ten pedal slideshows for me. And she did a good job. I think she could do that every time now. And I can, you know, play video games. Leslie, you in, in, in that? No. No? We'll talk. <laughs> so, clean sound. Doesn't do much there. All the way effect. With a lot of imagination, it gets a little bit drivier with a lot of imagination. So let's let's grid it up. That's 
my iPad. That was my iPad. It gets nice and thick. Right here, do we need to spend the money for this much change? I don't think so. It's kind of a pearl that, for me, it works in one setting, which is, let's crank that shit up. And that's nice. Take that into a bunch of amps, as we do here on the channel. Bad Cat Cub 40 by itself has the reverb on. Let's fix that. Let's reverb more amp. To a JTM kind of an amp, the MVP 66 by Morgan. That's uh, oh, I didn't mention that. I'm not getting paid for this video, by the way. Just letting you know. Got the pedal though. Uh, MVP 66 by Morgan. JTM ish. Sounds like so. <laughs>
sweet. We're going into uh, the mini plexi by Le Marshall people, which is already kind of. <laughs> Very cranky. I think I need to get that normal channel up a bit. We are going into the Morgan AC20. Very voxish. I don't know what I'm doing, but that also works. And then we're doing the Marshall JCM 800 because that's what we do. Uh, sounds like this. <laughs> And that was back to the Tone King. Now the surreal is very subtle until it's not. And then it's kind of a one trick pony, one and a half tricks. But I think that's a good trick. Push your amp, the amps stay the way that they sound, which is great. And it adds thickness, it adds richness. I think this is a great subtle tool for the blue sky. I think this is a great subtle tool for the pop rock dude. It's a nice tool, made by Nice Guy, all, you know, small series. This is a labor of love. I don't think Frank intends to become a billionaire with that. He won't, but it's a good pedal for what it does. Done. Video ends. Thanks, Frank, for sending this. And was at the end. Links to Frank below. I wanna bathe in your sea, I wanna dive in your ocean